So you want your Windows Plex media server to start before a user has logged in. For instance, if you powered your computer on and you don't plan on logging in or you don't have a monitor hooked up and you want the service to just start. So one way you can accomplish that is by setting up Plex to run as a service instead of an application. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. At the end of the video, I'll also have a link to another process I have using a script and Windows Test Scheduler to basically just start the application before a user has logged in. So in this video, as I've said, we're going to set the Plex server service or set the Plex media server as a service. And to do that, you can download the NSSM tool, which is currently free. As you can see, it's the non-sucking service manager, NSSM. I'll have a link to this in the description, and it should have the latest version on the on the download page. So right now that's version 2.2.4, or sorry, 2.24, and I'm just going to click that. If you're using Chrome, you should be able to just click the little drop down and click Show in Folder, and this will show you the extracted package. Right click, and if you have something like 7-zip, you can extract it to basically a folder of itself. So it's the extracted.zip and dump it in downloads. And then what I'd recommend doing is naming this just NSSM. And we are going to put it in a folder on the C drive. So you don't have to do this, but just for following the, the instructions that I have, if, if you want to go along exactly like the video, um, I have a folder called tools and I've pasted that here. So within NSSM, there's a folder called Win64. And in the search URL up here, you want to enter CMD. So from within this folder, we are going to type NSSM base install, base, and then inside quotes, Plex Media Server. If you get this prompt here, you can hit yes. And that's avoidable if you open the command prompt as in admin mode. But as you can see, we can get through it just through the um, little security warning there. So what we'll need to do now is point the application that we want to start as a service. So in that case, what we'll need to do is go to C, Program Files x86, or whatever drive you've installed Plex on, really. Um, from the Program Files x86 folder, there should be a Plex folder, and then Plex Media Server, and then the Plex Media Server.exe. So I'm not going to, actually, I, I can do this, never mind. I already have the service configured, so I'm just going to call this one test, because I'll also show you how you can remove the service. So I'll open services first. And there's the test one I just created. And then there's the Plex Media Server, one that I've already previously configured and is working. So we will do NSSM, remove, test. And you only need double quotes if there's spaces in the name. Test service is gone. So now what you'll need to do is if you have the Plex application running, I'll open up a duplicate here. I don't trust that. It's going to open the right thing, so I will do it from You'll want to right click the little Plex icon and uncheck Start Plex at Media Server Login. 
because what will happen if uh, you don't do this is basically you will have the symptom or the issue that I've just caused here, and there will be two Plex Media Server services running. So to prevent that, you'll just have to uncheck Start Plex Media Server at Login, and that won't happen. So I'm going to exit that one because I don't need it. Click on the Plex Media Server process and click end task. I can't actually do that now because since mine's as a service, if I click end task, it's just going to start up again. And leave. That's another nice thing about having this set up this way. So from services, if you didn't see how I did that earlier, you just type services, Plex Media Server, right click the task, or sorry, the, the service, and change startup type to automatic. and then click OK. So once that's done, you can go ahead and test the reboot. And I will do that now. And I'll show you that when the system comes back up, um, the Plex server service will have started. OK, so my Plex server is back up. And what I'm actually going to show you is I will open my Plex library. Because if the service was not available, then I would get those caution signs saying that the library is not accessible. As you can see, it has stuff that, I've, uh, that I have here, and that's basically it. So I will also show you from the server itself that the task is running. And there it is. So the Plex Media Server service now operates as a actual service, and you don't need to start the Plex um, little process. So if you don't want to use this method, as I said, I do have another method, which there'll be a link on the screen, for um, using a script and the Windows Task Scheduler. So I hope this video is helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.